And so begins the second half of the game on the oil rig. I desperately need some health because I'm near death. Hopefully this cargo elevator takes me to the med bay. Probably not. Oh man, was that lucky. Ooh, the armory. I'll be loading up on everything in here. Now the med bay, sweet. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Thomas Dolby injects Hansen with the antidote and kills the stupid Exocell. If the parasite's inside me, how do I pass it? Oh. Totally not mad scientist tells Hansen that Kamsky found the Exocells underwater and was experimenting on them when they escaped and took over. First things first, I need to find a guy named Anishanko to open the radar jamming station. A new supply of health packs too, thankfully. Hansen, one more thing. Yeah? You need to- ah! Come on! Stupid dramatic exocells. Sorry, Doc. Keeping my distance seems to be working out well. This game is boo scare central. This room does not fill me with hope. Grenade launcher? I'm sure I'll blow myself up a few times with this. Oh, I just released what sounds like a bunch of them. At least I can funnel them up the stairs. Three? Is that all? Ah, damn my impatience! If things weren't difficult enough, now there's some sort of monster that makes the lights go out. Is this what happens when the exocells are allowed to mature? A critical hit to the face with a shotgun doesn't kill it? Okay, spear gun to lure them in, and then grenade launcher. On the upper level, it sounds like all hell's breaking loose. I'll help them out with some fire. Outside across the bridge is some motion sensors. This can't be good. I should be able to crouch under here and- Ah, oh, God, no! Can't shoot them, can't duck under them, but I have to get to the other side. Maybe they shut off somewhere? Well played, game. You haven't hit me with a boost scare in a while. The shotgun really packs a punch. I think I need to move that crane. I also think I dozed off here for a minute. I was playing this very late. Why is the shadow of my legs up there? What do I do here? Maybe if I run through the fire... Oh no, that's not it. If it didn't work for these guys, I don't know why I thought it would work for me. Climbing up this way leads to the control room so I can put out the fire. So now I can go through the door that was blocked by the fire. What's up here? It's a brand new gun! This is probably the worst room in the game. The lab goes into lockdown, it's full of exocells, and won't open until they're all dead. Stupid things. This time I'm gonna go back into the corner so they have to come to me. That worked much better. Looks like someone spilled ketchup and mustard all over in here. Area clear. Doors unlocked. Thank you. After searching the rest of the rig, I come to the conclusion that there has to be a way around these lasers. I can't believe I wasted like two hours trying to figure this out. On the other side, a full-scale firefight's going on. After taking out most of Anishanko's men, he comes up in the elevator. Um, where's legs? He's either stuck in the floor or this is dwarf on terrorism. Well, this is certainly new. The key was his eye. Ooh. Now that I have the eye, I need to go back and get into the jammer room. Oh good, I can lure these things into killing themselves. That'll teach me to pay attention to where I'm going. A few dozen times later, and I'm across the bridge. Alright, here's the jammer room. I have to take down all three jammers for it to go offline. How do I do this? Well, hell, unplug the damn thing! By default, I want to shoot them, but it can't be that easy, can it? Only two left. I'm amazed that actually worked. Bennett contacts Hansen and gives him an update. Anna's not dead, and some giant monster saved her. Someday, I promise, you will understand. Yep, totally not her dad. 
She might eventually understand, but I can't see having that face over for Thanksgiving. Taking a cue from aliens, he locks her in the room with exocells that jam themselves into her mouth. Bennett wants Hanson to get the notes about the project, but he wants to get the antidote to save Anna. Back in the elevator, and then this bridge over to a new section. What's this over here? It looks like a whale's vagina. Ah! Did it eat me? Ah! Oh, not again. Now is when everything gets disgusting, isn't it? Is this patient zero? We gotta get some ammo, find the memos, and kill the exocells. Repeat. Time to torch you little jerks. How about the belt of O'Frien? It's the exocell fire challenge. I haven't been in this room before. What's over here? Ah, damn it. Back here again? An underwater passageway and the glass is cracking. If things weren't bad enough, invisible enemies? I'm not even dealing with that. On the other side is this monstrosity, which I'm sure I'll be fighting soon. In the meantime, some platforms over the experimental chambers. Here's the antidote for Anna, but what about me? Now I get to be a Bond villain for a minute. Here's the key for the experimental PC. Oh, you are so dead. What do you know? Okay, here's the holding pens for these things. Now, which one is gonna break out? Winner! All right, now I gotta go back to the... I'm stuck. The hell? No, I'm really stuck in the geometry. I don't wanna have to go back to the last save. Ugh, fine. Oh, more of these screaming jerks. It's a good feeling to cook these things. Up the elevator and back into the room with the big guy in it. Oh, big guys, plural. And opening this bridge takes me back to the start. Time to load up on ammo and health. I knew this was coming. Well, that's it. Really thought he would have put up more of a fight. Not complaining, mind you. Down the hall, kill these idiots, and into where Anna's stashed. So this is it, Tom. Two patients, one cure. Really glad these monsters are stupid. Now it's a scavenger hunt to get the explosives to blow this whole thing up. Another room that goes on lockdown until all the creatures are dead. Another locked door. I'll just shoot this box here and... Oh, well, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Fire extinguisher to the rescue. One false mover shot and I'm dead. nearly wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I don't even want to know what the hell's coming out of there. Probably a smart shark ready to eat Samuel L. Jackson. I need to set the charges in the tunnel. Come on, can he set it for more than five seconds of delay? Well, that's better. On to the next explosive. Another one of these guys. Nope. The last explosive. Hey, I'm getting pretty good at this. Anna's got a helicopter waiting to get us out of here, but of course between us and the helipad, he's a crap ton of monsters. You know, it's never easy to meet your girlfriend's father. Just a few charges left to set. And where do you think you're going with my daughter? So he kills his own daughter? Gotta distract him so she can set the charges. Anna gets away, and now I have to kill her father. This guy seems invincible. We're gonna have to get closer. Oh, that's just a great idea. After a few times of getting killed, I finally take out Kamsky. Now to sit back and watch the end cinematic. Mother f Let's try this again. Thankfully, it worked the second time. I didn't want to have to keep doing this stupid boss fight. Let's get out of here! It's alright. I'll take care of this. Papa, I'm sorry. Goodbye, Papa. And that's the end. Kinda nice that it was a pretty definitive ending and not a cliffhanger. 
The game went through various levels of development hell as it came together. It was developed by Darkworks, and was originally going to be published by Namco, but ended up going to Ubisoft. This was Darkworks' second game, after Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. Having the game take place on a boat during stormy conditions added immensely to the atmosphere of the game. The team had to write an entirely new program to handle the movements of the ship. The rocking at times made aiming at shore, but that added to the tension. The game was released for the Xbox, PS2, and PC in 2005 to mediocre reviews. They felt that while the initial concept was great, it was sullied by an overuse of cliches and an irritatingly outdated cinematic camera placement. While the game was frustrating, I personally enjoyed it a lot. The story borrowed from a ton of different sources, but with the unique location, storm, and protagonist, it carved its own path, even if it was a short one. I would have liked a little more variety in the enemies, but considering I played some games where the bad guys were all zombies, this at least had some differences. I do wish the game was completely third person over the shoulder. It would have cut down on the moments where I was walking into walls, or when I had to switch to aim, and took numerous hits while Hansen was slowly rotating around. The lack of a map was annoying because it was easy to get lost and wander around aimlessly on the ship and on the oil rig. Not a deal breaker, but more of an inconvenience. It didn't add to anything except frustration. The lack of saves was a pain in those times when you just wanted to go to sleep. Despite all that, I did enjoy my time with it. I got lost, but never felt the urge to quit. It's an entertaining survival horror that you can find dirt cheap. I picked one up for $5 with the case and instructions. Although survival horror is one of my favorite genres of games, so your mileage may vary if you aren't a fan. If you get it for the PS2, be sure you either have a PS2 or the 60 gig model PS3 with the Emotion chip, and not the 80 gig or the ones that came afterwards with the backwards compatible software. It runs perfectly on a PS2 or the 60 gig PS3, but because of the software emulation and the other models, there's that annoying pause glitch. It is infuriating. I edited out most of the instances, but playing the game, really getting into it, and then having it pause constantly will drive you nuts. I wish the game would have sold better. I think a sequel on an Arctic base during a blizzard would have been just fantastic. Yes, I'm aware of the thing. Hey everyone, I just want to remind you, I have a Patreon set up. Uh, if you like the show and would like to help keep me going, even a dollar a month would make a difference. I would really appreciate it. I've got some cool rewards set up, so check it out. Thanks a lot.